Hey guys, ETN Sun here from Sun Bros, knocking out the one minute ability guide on Cyclops. Cyclops' passive is the heart and soul of his kit, and the reason that I go off tank mage build on him instead of full damage. The capability of drastically reducing the cooldown of your abilities is one of the best passives in the game. Not only does Cyclops' first ability have great burst damage, but where it really shines bright is in teamfight situations, because it's one of the few abilities in the game that can pierce through everything that it hits. A great movement speed buff makes Cyclops' second ability great for getting in and out of situations, but the real hero of this ability is a surprisingly large amount of damage that it actually deals. The movement speed buff is also great for chasing down targets that have been rooted by Cyclops' ult and finishing them off. Cyclops' ult is one of the best crowd control abilities in the game. Even though it's a root and not a stun, it's still great for either A, picking out the enemy target that you want to kill, or B, neutralizing a very effective backline diver like Karina for example. One of the reasons that Cyclops is so misunderstood and underrated is that people always play him full damage. Cyclops is not intended to be a full damage mage, but rather an off tank support mage. What makes Cyclops a really interesting hero to play is that when you consider his entire toolkit as an off tank support mage, given 40% cooldown reduction, Cyclops can consistently spam all of his abilities while taking plenty of damage and not dying. And with his ult he can be used to either secure a kill on a specific hero or defend the backline and root whoever tries to jump it. Thanks for watching this one minute ability guide on Cyclops and as always, till next time.